good job in completing the previous video in this video we will focus on this item how many transactions are completed how many transactions are completed items right how many transactions completed in your entire org we are going to see this for this i am going to click on add and click on visualization as i said the very primary thing is what you should select here are you would you like to create a data for the entire org or would you like to create a data for a single tenant so based on that if it is a tenant you will select here if it is the current tenant you will select this one if it is for the entire org or the entire company you will be selecting the org one so i'll be going with org okay now what is the aim here total transaction count right the q item count so for this you need to know the fields it depends you know how much you could remember the field names or else sometimes you just type and find them for example here i am interested on the count right so i would say uh, the uh, q item count so you can see the moment i type a word it gives me the field more you use you will remember them if not by typing them you get it so simply i have to click on once the moment i click now you can see the data layer is blank the moment you click it adds once you have added a field i am going to run it so it, it will tell me in my organization how many transaction items are there so here i am looking at the q items let us give a title called q items now after having this it says okay total 1052 items are there now i am slightly confused what is this 1052 item count i want to have some more field just to understand this for example i will say q name so if i use the q name as my field and run it initially it is blank the moment i run it it gives me all the q so it also tells me okay in q1 you have got 952 items in test q1 you had 50 30 20 so like that the count was 1000 something okay um, th this is how it appears now um one more thing i am also wanted to understand now 952 see this 952 is it successful abandoned what exactly is that i wanted to understand right now for that what i can do is um, the status i'll simply type the word status and you can see there is a field called processing status i'll click once now everything is blank if i run it everything will be filled now let's see how it appears so what it's saying see in q1 all the items are successful 949 in test q1 deleted items is 50 rpa challenge q deleted item is 20 rpa challenge q1 successful is 16 uh, fail is 12 uh, so it is giving different different status in rpa challenge q1 you can see 1 2 3 uh, there is abandon there is a fail there is a successful okay so these are the different statuses which are appearing here so now now it gives a complete understanding the total count what you see is actually the count of you know all the transaction items with various statuses okay now i don't need all this i just want to see overall what is the count okay so what i will do i'll simply hide this columns i i'm not interested in all of this um okay so i am not even interested in this so if you are not interested in a field all you do simply remove it okay for example remove the filter i am not interested in the q name field i am not interested in the processing status field i am just interested in this one field okay 1052 so it gives you over overall count of all the queues okay so if if you are interested only in this particular field all you do simply remove all of them or hide all of them and then this is the field i am interested in you can start adding it now what happens um you know from multiple tenants you can have multiple different uh, uh, you know uh, queues so it is queue org so automatically it is giving the count of all the queues and adding it here 1052 so all i will do is just select this and hit on save 
so it says q items total processed is 1052 so there could be more and more questions might be coming can i filter it tenant wise can i filter it how do i add a button here so that i can filter so there is an option here called filter i'll click on this add filter let's say imagine there are um, multiple queues okay i would like to know queue wise in which queue how many transaction items are there so for that simply type the filter as queue name select so the scope is queue org so now it is showing all of this now how do you want do you want something like a drop down so you can go with this or you know for example if you click on inline it is give you you know the options like this so i want a pop over so it will come like this in the drop down and uh, how do you want check boxes you want or uh is it click on tag list so tag list means it will appear something like this or you want button group or you want uh, you know radio buttons you know based on whatever your requirement is i am going to click on uh, check boxes this is fine okay or maybe tag list so you just have to select one okay so this is fine i'll click on add now here i have got the queue name uh, button i can also drag and keep it to a very specific place okay it is only one line so i'll just click on this for example it is showing for everything i am going to select only in rpa challenge q1 what is the status so if i click and refresh the data number of queues one and total items in that is 30 if you click on this it is also going to show you the data okay wait for a few seconds you can see all the data are also present here and the processing type exception type okay so like this you will be able to see all your data visualization so what we have learned now is on the transaction items how do you get the transaction items we have learned i'm going to save this okay so now your dashboard is ready now let's meet in our next video